The first part of this lesson is why is water special? Well, plants and animals are made up mostly of water. The human body can vary from about 50 to 75% water. Humans need clean water to keep them healthy. Without water to drink, you would die in about one week. Our need for water links us to the past and other living creatures. Since ancient times, societies have succeeded or failed according to the ability to get clean water and protect it for future use. Today's modern cities still depend on water for everything from flushing toilets to fighting fires, building cars we drive, for everything. Your community depends on water too. Using water wisely is critical to our survival. We can't live without it. Water sustains life on earth. Life is impossible without water. Water is made up of molecules that have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom joined together. That's why we also call water H2O. Water can take three forms on Earth. Liquid, solid, which is ice, and gas, which is a vapor. Water exists in all three forms on Earth. Here's what a water molecule looked like. Water molecules are called H2O because two hydrogen atoms attach to a single oxygen atom. In A, we see that the molecule is held together by the attraction of oxygen and hydrogen atoms to each other because the two atoms have opposite charges. These charges also strongly attract other water molecules like a magnet. This plays an important role in the special properties of water. In B, as water freezes, water molecules align into a regular structure. In C, D, and E, as ice is formed, it expands in size, but it becomes less dense than liquid water. This characteristic of ice to align into a regular structure and to expand and become less dense as it freezes is what causes water pipes in a house to burst in freezing water and why ice floats on water. Water can travel great distances. For example, clouds are made up of tiny ice crystals and water droplets. Water can move up plant stems, keep animals and plants alive, break rocks, and dissolve or erode almost anything. Water's chemical structure gives it these amazing powers. Water molecules attract one another in a way that makes them form drops. Have you ever watched raindrops creep across the window? When the droplets get close to each other, they join to form one larger drop. Water molecules cling to other things too. This clinginess allows water to move up plant roots and enables blood to flow through tiny blood vessels. It also enables bugs and other small things to rest on the water surface without sinking. Water's strong attraction to itself is called cohesion. This creates surface tension that allows insects, such as the water strider, to walk on it without breaking through. The water molecules at the surface are more strongly attracted to other water molecules on the surface than those below the surface because there are no water molecules directly above the water molecules on top of the surface. This forms a strong surface film. It takes more force for an object to break through the surface film than to move through the water below it. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Water can absorb a lot of heat before it begins to get hot. A large body of water heats up very slowly and cools down just as slowly. This property allows living things to survive in water's fairly constant environment. Water is unusual because its solid form, ice, is not as dense as its liquid form. This is why ice forms 
on the top of a lake, floating on the unfrozen water below it, and insulating aquatic organisms from extreme temperatures. Without this property, lakes would freeze solid throughout, trapping and killing fish and other aquatic life. Water is also called the universal solvent by chemists because it's very good at dissolving many different things. Seasonal cycles of rainfall and flooding have shaped many landscapes through what we call erosion. Because of these properties, water in nature is never completely pure. This also means most of the chemistry of life happens in solutions of water. For example, when we say blood, that's really just a lot of our cells contained in water. Water also contains dissolved oxygen and other gases from the air, dissolved minerals from the earth, and organic matter. Gases, minerals, and organic matter supply essential elements and nutrients needed by aquatic organisms to live and grow under the water. Unfortunately, the gases, minerals, and other things that water dissolves also can pollute it. Water pollution occurs when too many natural or man-made substances of a harmful nature get into the water. These substances can harm or kill the plants and animals that live in or near the polluted waters.